Well, for the first time this year, the NFC East actually got interesting. Let's break it down. All year, the NFC East has been the butt end of the joke, being called the NFC least. Like, it's been a terrible division. Those games have not been fun to watch. They just haven't. They're not, they're not good games. All the teams are scrapping. Every team has a losing record in the NFC East. It's abysmal. Somehow, this week with four teams with losing records, three of them have the opportunity to actually clinch the NFC East title. Washington, Dallas, and New York. All three teams could take the NFC East this week. So let's break it down, break down how it could happen for each one. When you look at Dallas, you have the whole Dak to Dalton to XYZ quarterback. In Washington, it's the return of Alex Smith and Haskins going to a nightclub and forgetting to wear his mask. And then you've got New York and the Giants. And you got Danny Dimes, who gets injured halfway through the year. He's falling down while running way too fast on an 80-yard sprint to some guy who looks like a knockoff Bill Burr. Like, it, it has just been atrocious. It has not been enjoyable to watch. I didn't even mention Philly there because that has been a train wreck between Wentz and Hurts and the whole deal. All in all, the NFC East has been terrible to watch. It has not been enjoyable. Nothing about it has been fun. So, with three teams with losing records that are able to get into the playoffs and clinch that division, let's break it down and how it can be done. First of all, you have Washington. Washington needs to win. They're playing Philly, and Philly has nothing to play for. They cannot win the division. So they're out there just trying to spoil this game like anybody who trolls the internet and spoils the ending of a brand new movie. They could also tie and then clinch the division. Looking at Dallas, it's a little bit different. Dallas needs to either win or tie against the Giants, but they also need Washington to lose. And it would be wild to see Andy Dalton enter into the playoffs with one lone star on his helmet and not that crazy striped orange pattern that he's been wearing for years. And finally, you have the New York Giants. The Giants need to win and they need Washington to lose. So both Dallas and New York need Washington to lose if they want to have a hope. And it would be wild to see a 6-10 New York Giants win the division. The NFL, this is one thing that's super interesting about it. You look at a division that can be so bad all year, but one of those teams gets to host a home playoff game. Wild. Wild to me. But those are the different scenarios in order for each team to make it. And drop your thoughts in the comments. Who's getting in? Who? from the NFC East will be hosting a home playoff game. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And I'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Lions.